Hey everyone, welcome to another interesting lesson in this Tosca course. Um, today I'm going to talk about how you can steer your Tosca commander using the command line tool, which is also known as TC shell. Okay, this is provided by Tosca so that uh, you can uh, execute your scripts not only from Tosca commander, but from the backend using uh, any command line tool. Okay, so for Windows, we have got command prompt, as you know, and we can right away execute our uh, Tosca test cases right from here using this particular tool. So let's see how we can uh, do that. In order to access this uh, TC shell, which is the command line tool, uh, it is present in the Tosca commander installation folder. So when you are installing Tosca commander, it will be automatically set up for you. Okay, you just need to access it and use it. So to access it, uh, we need to go to that particular folder. And one of the shortcuts which you can use is commander underscore home, okay? And uh, it is basically the same folder, which is your installation directory, program files, trascentis, and Tosca commander. Okay, this is where uh, this particular command line utility is present. Now, in order to access this uh, command line tool, uh, you don't only need to call it, but you also need to pass some parameters. And these parameters are basically the workspace path with uh, your credentials for logging into that workspace. Now, if you're working in a single user workspace, uh, you don't require any credentials, but in a multi-user workspace, in a real-time uh, scenario, you will require a username and password as well. Okay, so you need to provide all of this. And how you can do that is uh, this. So it's basically uh, calling the TC shell and passing the parameters workspace and the login okay so in workspace i'm giving the workspace path obviously you need to go till uh, the tws file which is the actual workspace file okay also there are two ways of uh, working with the tc shell which is the command line tool uh, one is the interactive way and one is the script way we'll look at both of them briefly Okay, starting with the interactive way. Uh, in interactive way, you can interact with the command line tool basically. So if the command line tool requires uh, uh, any input, you can provide them right away uh, in the screen. But in script, uh, in the script process, you just write the script and prepare the script once, and then you just run the script. So there is no way to interact with the command line tool uh, in between the execution, okay? So to start off uh, with the interactive mode, uh, we require this command TC shell and then we pass the workspace. So if I copy paste this path here, and then it is going to check for the license and uh, then it is trying to log in into this workspace, okay? For now, it is stopped by another process, which is basically the workspace uh, opened in my Tosca commander, okay? So do keep in mind that you cannot open the workspace in two places at the same time, unless uh, you are using a multi-user workspace and uh, you have got different repositories. But for this particular repository, I cannot access it from the command line and also from the Tosca commander. I need to close one of them, okay? So let's press yes here. Okay, since, uh, this is a single user workspace, so it doesn't require username and password. And Tosca already recognizes that, and that's the reason it didn't ask for any username and password, okay? So when you see this prompt, that means uh, you have successfully uh, logged in into the TC shell, and it is connected to your workspace now, okay? So now you can um, go ahead and run all the commands, but what commands are included uh, in the TC shell? That can be easily, uh, noted by this help command okay so when you uh, write this help command it will show you all the different options or all the commands with all the different parameters okay um, the important words are compact workspace which will basically com uh, compact your workspace for performance reasons you can change the node uh, you can call a script right uh, you can get uh, all options, get option, you can uh, set different parameters, you can do a health check, okay? Uh, you can jump to a particular node. So this is what we will see later on. 
and uh, you can save uh, save options uh, as i said set option set property and then you can also uh, run a particular task so task is basically uh, something like an execution so if you want to execute your test cases you can use it using this task okay so we are going to look at some of these commands not all of them at least but the most important ones are uh, the task and uh, if you want to perform some background checks like the health check or if you want to check in all so those things you can do using this command line tool okay so this is the interactive mode uh, and then uh, if i can exit from this interactive mode as i said it asks for different um, inputs right so it will really ask you how you want to exit this shell or you want to log in into this uh, your workspace is locked so all of this are inputs which is asking from the user so that's the interactive mode but in script mode you will not find all of these uh, prompts okay so i'm now exiting the interactive mode and uh, let's clear this uh, screen so that we can see it and then we are going to use the script mode okay so in script mode uh, apart from these parameters we can also pass a parameter which contains the script uh, path to the script file okay so the script.tcs this is the file which i have created and it contains some commands or some uh, operations which i want to perform uh, using the tosca commander okay and if i open this you will see there are four commands basically first is jump to node and uh, it contains the node path uh, where my execution list is present so the execution list is pdf compare okay so this will compare to pdf files um, and it is inside the execution and execution lists okay so basically you have to just look at the uh, path of your particular object and just pass it here after that uh, i'm uh, calling the task command to perform some tasks like clearing the log of the execution and then uh, running the execution list and then saving the results so these are the four commands which i'm running together in this uh, script.tcs file okay now in order to run this um, i can copy this whole command okay so this is the script mode as you remember and uh, we can just paste it here and we can just start running our script uh, right from here so once the script is completed uh, it will post the results back to tosca commander and uh, we can go into tosca commander and verify there whether uh, the execution was successful or failed now now why this is important is uh, this is the only way you can integrate your tosca test cases with a ci cd tool like jenkins right so in Jenkins, if you have got uh, a script uh, which you can execute from Jenkins directly, you can automate your whole execution process or you can even schedule your executions. Okay. So as you see, uh, it is showing all the steps which is it has performed and uh, it is saying run finished. So let's go to Tosca Commander and uh, let's verify whether it actually executed that particular execution list so if you remember uh, we have given this path which is uh, starts from the project right which is the top node and then execution then it goes to execution lists so the first step is to jump to this particular node which is pdf compare right and uh, as you can see the start time stamp it has been executed just now okay and uh, the results is fail obviously because the compare results failed uh, that was expected but uh, this execution was performed from the backend which is from the command line tool right not from tosca commander um, like the usual way we do it and this is more efficient and much faster obviously because you are doing it from the backend uh, and you can even use this process to integrate your tosca test cases or execution to uh, CICD tool okay so that's our next topic um, and it will be very interesting to see how you can run your test cases right from Jenkins 
so uh, do look out for my next session uh, which is much related to this and uh, we'll talk more about how you can integrate your tosca with jenkins